Okay, so um, I already have started. I did a video on Moon Conjunct Moon um, Sinistry. So I'm going to start working with the signs to where I'm doing each sign and it's compatibility, the moon sign is compatibility with another sign, okay? I really didn't know how I was going to do this at first because I was like, should I just start and be like, okay, Aries, and then the whole entire video, I got Aries with Aries, Aries with Taurus, and I was like, blase, 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 but I'm not going to do it that way, okay? So this is going to take me a while, so definitely have patience with me as I go through this process. I will possibly start just doing regular, um, like I have this on my channel, like I have some, like a sign with another sign compatibility. I'll start doing those again as well. There's, it's, there's, there's, it's endless. There's no time to this. Okay. It's just about, um, watching if you have this placement or this synastry with somebody else, or if you're willing to learn about it. All right. Okay. So without that being, um, with that being said, let's go to Aries moon and Aries moon compatibility. Okay. So this is the thing. First off, you have a conjunct aspect here with the moon signs and with a conjunct moon okay um aspects or with just you know the moons have been in the same signs automatically there is this subconscious understanding of each other it does not take much you don't have to sit there and try to guess or try to think what is this person possibly feeling or thinking what is their moods what do they want what do they need because it's kind of just like automatically happen because you're naturally in tuned with what the other person has going just by you just naturally acting the other person has this already understanding because that's how they naturally act okay and so there's this also like this soulmate feeling, this comfortable feeling, like you have a comfortable feeling and that means that you feel safe around each other. You can open up more. All right. These two Aries and Aries is pretty good because that means on a personal level, you know, um, because remember the moon is intimate, how you act personally when you are in a comfort zone, when you're in your intimate relationships, family dynamics and things of that nature. So you two, if Aries is active, the other Aries is going to be active too. Now, I understand that there's different things at play. Okay, my dog decides to play with their, his, her toys right when I'm talking on here. There's other things at play. I get it because it depends on your son. I get it because there might be one outgoing son and one that's more reserved. But the prop there the, where the problem is pretty much dealt with and handled is the fact that you're both going to understand how to move and motivate each other. Okay. So you can bring, um, a more reserved son out of their shell, you know what I mean? And out of their comfort zone and they can feel comfortable with doing things that they're usually not comfortable with doing with you, you know, not comfortable doing with you or with the other person. Um, so yeah, here you can get, these two can be pretty active. Like they can get, they can roll around together. They can go and do things and have fun and, you know, go be involved in sports, go be involved in outdoor activities or just running errands and just being busy together, working on these things together, having joint passions. And even if there is something that's different about what they're passionate about and what they pursue, giving each other the independence in the space to do so because Aries you know, it, it is a sign that's capable of independence and having space and being able to um, move about freely and then come back and, you know, hook up with their partner. Okay, so there, that right there is something that they're both going to admire and respect within each other. And this is a, a very strong dynamic, okay? Because you're just like, okay, we're on the same page here. There could be heated conversation, heated arguments, especially with family. That There could be also like situations where you get busy with family to where you're like running errands for family or there's family involved in some type of way because we're dealing with the moon here. Yeah, um, my dog, I swear. But um, so, yeah, this is just you there there's like this going back or being able to come apart give each other space and then come back together very passionate okay these two are very passionate with each other so there could be this instance to where like when their one is ready and to do something you know being intimate whatever the other one is like okay ready too even if the other one's not necessarily ready I, I, it's just it's a mutual thing 
they know, they understand the workings and the rawness of the other one. It could just be more of an instant um, gratification, just straight going for things. Emotionally, things can get erratic. There could be like little disputes or heavy fights, intense arguments, but just to move over it the next day, depending on the sun, okay? But just to be like in a couple of days, but okay, you know, this didn't even happen. They could drive people crazy with this. And that's another thing that I had mentioned, but I got distracted. The family situation, you know, to where there's like altercations or just situations, activeness amongst the family, you know, and the family dynamic and um, having to be the person that is either arguing about their stance, their, you know, um, what, needing their freedom or whatever it is that's going on with their family um, or just being someone that's like actively emotionally displaying of those emotions and it could be in a way to where like they're arguing they're arguing or they're venting or they're being a little bit hysterical because remember this is the moon and the moon is not necessarily comfortable in Aries sometimes the moon wants to just sit back and reflect Aries is on go Aries on go mode the moon wants to reflect then they're projecting and then they're projecting to each other now this is the thing to where the downside um, or where there could be some problems is the constant arguing. Um, it's too much of the same energy. So where it's beneficial, it could just be in overdrive. Like it could be, it could get very, very, very bad. If you got two people that's going at each other and they don't want to back down. Okay. Um, and, and plus they're each other's match. There's, it's very hard to win over the other one um, and things can be said or done that hurts the other person. The good thing about it is they can move on past certain things. Now, what you can do to help this out is, yes, keep that independence between you two. You don't have to like share everything. Like if one person wants to go shopping with their time, go shopping if the other person wants to go hang out with family, go hang out with family, you know, things of that nature. Or the other person may want to go and play golf, go play golf, hang out with your buddies, hang out with your buddies, go eat with your girlfriends, go eat with your girlfriends, whatever. Okay, to spend that time away a little bit. Even if it's something, because these days people are doing things in their home. Even if it's like, okay, well, I want to go play my video games or I'm going to go watch my shows. I'm going to watch my housewife shows, okay? And regardless of what people say, I'm going to watch my housewife shows. And then, you know, come back together and do things together. Be willing to kind of like look at the fair things from a fair situation instead of this is my stance. That way, when needed, when one person is heated and the other person could be like, I'm like, I don't even need to prove my point here. I don't even need to go against this person. Like, I get it, whatever they mad. I'm just going to be the person that kind of like listens or just speak my piece and conversate it and then, you know, whatever. Or not say nothing at this moment and then later on we can talk about it later when we're on good terms with each other. But all in all, when you have two moon signs that's in the same sign, there's an automatic understanding. Because even when, it's like when things are dust settle, so the other person does get the fact that the other person got upset. You know what I mean? So, yeah. It's an automatic mutual understanding. You naturally operate in the way that the person understands. So, it brings compatibility into the connection. All right? Okay. So, this has been Aries Moon with Aries Moon Compatibility. I'm Butterfly Slant, you know I'm going to be back, so mm, mm, 